fucking these look easier and that makes them feel harder. Okay. Jesus Christ. I'm about to beat this level. And I'm so afraid that I'm about to die right now. <laughs> Despite how easy this looks. Oh my god, instant replay live. Let's watch this terrifying. You don't understand the heartache that I've gone through to try to beat this level. Oh my gosh. This has been a mix of 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 just complete stress, of Nick's complete like mental destruction. Uh, Nick actually died in the filming of this, so um, let's have a brief moment to remember. But fuck, I beat it. Oh my god. I... <laughs> I just... I am... I am dead. I am dead right now. Uh, that was insane. My hands are drenched, coated with, like, an ocean of sweat. Uh... <laughs> Whoa! Oh, that was insane. That was... I'd like to take a moment to thank Bandit Girl for always being at the end of the level for me. Um, I'd like to thank Monster, uh, who sponsors our channel and uh, has delicious beverages from which to sucker uh, sweet, sweet energies. Um, and more importantly, oh man, look at the other me that almost died there. Oh, great. You go, other me. Um, more importantly, I need to thank... Uh, Actually, I don't have anybody else. I'm, I'm just rambling at this point. I have no clue. I had no clue what I was gonna say. I think about singing a song, actually. But Meat Boy, he jumps and dies. Meat Boy, he jumps and lies. Meat Boy, I don't know what else rhymes with that. Spies, perhaps. Is Meat Boy a spy? I don't think so. Whoa, oh my goodness. Okay. Welcome to Instant Replay Live. We just witnessed Joe finally beating the previous level. It took ages. <laughs> it took literal hours for him to do that. So we had to just kind of make it work. And now Meat Boy just got shot with a cannon. <laughs> oh, his power is paying off. This is like this is like South Park Timmy or yeah. Kenny Metal. Kenny just, Metal. Kenny, Kenny Metal. Metal. <laughs> Blah. Blah. Joe, Joe is a little bit zombified <laughs> at yeah. this point. Um, oh, he's, he's back there, though. Oh, <laughs> oh he's still okay. shooting you. All right, oh, all right. that's neat, though. But what are you supposed to do? Oh, okay. Oh, Jeez. Oh, this is going to be awful. Oh, do I have to get through that? <laughs> I have to get through that. All right, yeah. well, so, Nick, I think it's time to start a certain game for you. You've got, yes. you've got a mission on this final boss level here. So let me pull my piece of paper that Joe prepared for me. Uh, this is kind of like that Who's Line game where you got slips of paper in your uh, pocket and you can read some lines. Nick's going to have 20 lines of dialogue to read this episode. Uh, he's going to have to choose which responses to use, and he's going to start running out of ones that make sense pretty darn fast. Yeah, I can only use each line once. All right, so shall we start now? All right. I had a really fucking hard time with that last level. Um, that That is kind of, we already established that. But <laughs> what I mean to say by that is... Uh, it, it did, oh shit, it took me two hours to do that, and I just died. I'm going to die a lot on this level too, I think. I disagree. The saltier, the better. Yep, that's that's probably true. I mean, I, I like, I, I, I don't know that I like McDonald's fries more than Burger King fries. I don't like either of them that much, but, whoa. Oh, how do I do this? I do dare I, not comment on that one. I think i got to go fast enough to get through. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, uh, they're both pretty gross. Um. But what we did just watch before that, to separate my mind from the the, the the massacre that was that last level, is we just watched the song Ass, 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 which I hope you get that reference, because I don't know the name of the actual song. Why would you say something like that? Uh, it was, it had to be done, you know, and I don't mean to, like, cause you any harm with that, Nick, but it's, it, that song, we just listened to it, and it was, it was, it was a beating. Nicki Minaj, what a triumph in that song, you know? Wow, Joe, great job. Thanks. Um, and <laughs> the thing that killed me about that is that if you guys haven't seen the video, you should definitely check out the ass, 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 ass video, but they talked about the, fr they, they, they kind of like took Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and Hammer Time and they ruined both of them for me. Like they, they used the, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air like chair aesthetic for the song. And now, and now that whole entire video is just corrupted in my memory. We got to fight to keep swag alive. <laughs> 
<laughs> Damn it! That works too well! Uh, oh shit. Uh, I gotta be really quick for this part. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, that wasn't quick enough. <laughs> R-O-T-F-L-L-O-L. G-T-F-O. <laughs> oh, man. Um, let's see. Um, so, Nick, how was your weekend? <laughs> Pasty white boys drop all the sick jams. <laughs> Is that so? I guess I probably shouldn't ask you questions. I should give you a little bit of time. I just I got really excited by hearing your responses now. I'm really curious to hear some of these at the end, how they're going to fit in. But uh, I'm getting too old for this shit. <laughs> oh, man. Lethal Weapon. What a great series. Uh, I feel like we haven't actually had enough Lethal Weapons. And I'm wondering, you know, we just had the reboot of Mad Max. Can we have a reboot of Lethal Weapon? Because that, I think, would be kind of amazing. What uh, would Jesus do? Well, Jesus would probably reboot Lethal Le Oh my god, we could have the guy who played Jesus from uh, Passion of the Christ. That would be kind of epic. You can say that again. I'm not 100% sure what to do at this point. <laughs> oh, did, is that how you get through it? That's crazy. This is the 10th sentence I've spoken. Is that accurately 10th sentence, I'm wondering? I was wondering if you could get it right. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to read, watch this back on the playback and see if that is indeed the case. I don't think the question is where, but when. Oh, snap! I, oh, wow, that was well done, sir. That, not quite as good as a Lethal Weapon remake, but it'll do. So, if Dr. Vetus is shooting at me, and I don't really appreciate it. Oh, Aren't we all just Stardust? That's strangely philosophical. Um, I don't know where that came from, but... Uh, whoa! Man. Whoa! Um, <laughs> I've put a lot of thought into this. <laughs> I can see that. Um, but... Oh, I just slid right off the map. I think the best part about this is that Nick doesn't have to actually watch me flying, which has been the bane of this gameplay. Like, Nick has, has grown just fiercely exhausted of watching me play Me Meat Boy, and th for the first time, he gets to sit there and just not think about the game at all, and I feel like this is probably cathartic for him. This reminds me of God of Cheese. <laughs> Which is also cathartic for Nick. Uh, as a young child, he was um, swaddled in God of Cheese, and that was really how it, be it helped him become who he is today, and that uh, that changed everything, you know? Um, what are men to rocks and mountains? Jane wow, Austin. that's a really great pride and prejudice, right? That's, wow, nice. I haven't read it, but, uh, I definitely looked the quote up online earlier today. <laughs> oh man, um, I, I've heard I've heard nothing but good things about Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies though. Um, but I, I've not read it, so man, I need to get up, get caught up to date on these Jane Austen books. Ain't Jane. no sunshine when she's gone. I know, right? I mean, like, what is the literature world like right now without Jane Austen? It's kind of tragic. We got Stephanie Meyer. We got. Whoever wrote Fifty Shades of Grey, we got Stephanie Meyer. It's it's dark. It's a dark time. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know what that laugh was for, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, anyways, I think I see how to do this jump now. I've got to like take a long backstroke. I got to like go back and then swing around. It's going to be tricky. I don't know that I've ever done a jump like that in this game. That would work if I was Julius Oppenheimer. <laughs> oh, wow. That's, I mean, that guy really, he changed the world, you know? I and mean, he didn't want to do the things that he did, but had to had to happen, you know, to affect the war the way it did. So that's that's the nice thing about that. I don't really know what it has to do with uh, Super Meat Boy, though. That's really random, Nick. Um... Whew, okay, we're getting we're getting intense here. This is challenging for me, actually. I feel like it's probably easier for Nick than it is for me because I've got to keep on talking while we play this damn game, and I'm, I'm loving it, but I'm also hating it. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm like the stepchild of McDonald's right now. Oh, I'm like I'm like McDonald's' teenage daughter, having like I, I want to rebel, you know, but I secretly I do love them. It's really the McFlurries though. Oh, man, I want to make flurry really bad. Let's not and say we did. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I oh had my nowhere God. to put that. <laughs> uh, oh, that was great. That was the last one. <laughs> that was awesome. 
That was a lot of fun. That was so easy for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I kind of want to do one myself now. Literally, that, literally didn't have play. to think about what I said at all. I just had to pick one of the dialogue options given to me by a Joe. A couple of them worked pretty darn well, actually. I was yeah, impressed. Yeah, it was pretty fun. All right. <laughs> now you can talk for the rest of the episode. Yeah, yeah. Whew. Which is not much, but... Uh, well, I don't know how we're going to handle this with this boss fight. Do you think um, you can... Because uh, we, we cannot cut out of the boss fight, I feel like, you know? Yeah. Like, I don't know. We'll see. I, I, maybe I don't feel that way, because <laughs> it could be forever. Wow, I don't know. Here's a 14-hour instant replay live episode. Yeah, I can tell you <laughs> that I'm probably going to have some issues uh, with that jump right there. We might have to do like a, just a double episode on this, mm -hmm. with the second one being at the end of a practice run again. Yeah. It doesn't feel as bad as the last level. Um, <laughs> that last level was so terrible. At least for right now, the stuff is kind of like, it's not as, like, you've got to dodge the... Um... Anyone who doesn't pay attention to the lead-in of this episode, though, is going to have no idea. Like, if I feel like there's probably a fair number of people who just, like, click a video and then skip into it to find out where it gets good kind of thing. Sure. And they're going to hear me just saying random shit like, back to God you. God damn it, what, are you, what is this guy talking about? Yeah. Who, who are these people? Are they even recording this at the same time? <laughs> like... Or just cutting in random phrases. Stupid uh, I feel like you should just be able to <gasps> punch him or something. Oh, oh, oh go, no, go, no, go, no, go, no, go, no, go, 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 go! You have to go! I know, I know! I'm you can't so, hesitate. It was, it was hard. Uh, it was actually... Oh, oh. Yeah, first one I got shot by a bullet. <laughs> um, okay, how, here. how long do we let you go on with this in one episode? Let me do 15 minutes. That seems like a fair amount of time. Okay. Uh, That's the long end of what our episode should be. So. Right. All right. That's fine. So 15 minutes. So five more minutes. Then. It looks honestly like this level is paced by the machines in front. Oh, paced by the machines in front of me. Like I can't pass certain boundaries. Exactly. You have to hold so, up and and go when they're moving. Um, the yeah. Speed of the level is definitely very dictated. Yeah. Uh, so Rachel and I just got dinner. Oh, how'd that go? I I got to um, probably put a life-altering thought into our waitress's head. Oh, what's that? <laughs> So I always order my iced teas, half sweet, half unsweet, because just straight sweet tea in Virginia, and it, it's ridiculous how much sugar they put into it. Oh, I I'm like sweet tea in general. There's a lot of places where you can't even get sweet tea in the United States and probably abroad, <laughs> but here in Virginia, we are a southern state, they do sweet tea, and they do sweet tea with more sugar. Like, it's just wet sugar, basically. It's disgusting. So I do a half sweet, half unsweet, so it's not so bad still pretty bad for you, <laughs> but it's not so bad. And uh, she was having a lot of trouble with that concept. Like, right off, like, I, I heard her walking away and saying, okay, half sweet, half unsweet, half sweet, half unsweet. Like, she was trying to memorize it. <laughs> Which, like, okay, whatever. At least she cares enough, right, about yeah, her job. Um, so I'm not, yeah, I'm not getting on her for that. Um, but... <laughs> Then when we were leaving, she hadn't given us any refills throughout, and I was like, w could we get a couple to go, maybe? Because I wanted the caffeine to continue recording tonight. Yeah. And um, she said, oh yeah, no problem. And then she went and made it, but she hadn't re-reminded herself of the half-sweet thing, and she was making one for Rachel as well. And she poured a full sweet, and she was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to dump this out. I made you a full sweet. And but I was like, hold on. <laughs> get some unsweet tea? Yeah, I was like, just pour half of that into the other cup, and then top them bo both off with unsweet. And her eyes just went, like, super wide. Holy shit. What intergalactic secrets have you just unveiled? <laughs> yeah. That is the, the cosmic secret of sweet tea. She couldn't handle it. That's she, like some John Green shit right there. But then she smiled, and then she did the, like, the point at me, like... Oh, you. <laughs> you. You are a smart man. <laughs> I always feel really weird when I get complimented for, like, solving something really mundane. Yeah, but, right? But, but random people are like, oh, wow, you're so smart. I'm yeah. like, no. Oh, well, I think she kind of did it tongue-in-cheek. Like, I think okay. even she knew that it was a simple thought. Um, so I don't think she was that bad. I think it's just, you know, you work as a waitress or a waiter or whatever, whatever job. Long, long hours, and your mind is just kind of melted by the end of it. Oh, Joe. See, that's the problem is you gotta not be moving too fast. Yeah, that. yeah. That's why I was trying to get slow last time, but, but you gotta move slow. fast enough. Yeah. yeah. But um, I thought it was a fun little story <laughs> because Shit. she just her eyes went so big, 
when I suggested that she pour it into another cup. Like, like the, the, the high rev, uh, revelation guy? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you could put the, like, the the level-ending music of this with the dramatic chipmunk. Bum, oh. Bum, <laughs> bum. Yeah. <laughs> it would work perfectly. Um, oh, man. Whoa. All right, you're down so, to a minute and 43 seconds. Okay, and I'll save this. Ooh, save this sweet prompt for the next episode. Oh, really now? Whoa! Are, are you going to oh. even remember? No. Yeah, it's, I've got it written down. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, um, I'm kind of excited to hear it, though. It reminds me of another... Um, whoa, 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 like, whoa, whoa, whoa. There was another time that I was uh, <laughs> just dealing with someone in a retail job who didn't know a basic function of what their job was. And this woman's name is Wendy. It will stick with me forever. Was she working at a Wendy's? No, she was working at like a Home Depot, Lowe's, one of those types of places. Sure. Um, hardware store of some kind. And I was with our buddy Jack. Um, and Jack was buying something. I don't know what. I can't remember because it was like I was like 15. Um, but he was buying some hardware, you know, store goods. And it was cut wrong so the guy who cut it said this extra section is on the house just um tell them that i said it up at the front and they'll give you a discount um so and it was like a 10 percent discount or something very minimal um he goes up front we tell wendy hey this section's discounted he marked it here so he said that that would be fine she could not figure out how to do a 10 percent off um, like the math for 10% completely blew her mind. She actually multiplied the price by 10 oh, okay. and tried to charge him that. Like, no, I took 10% off. <laughs> like after multiplying the wait, total bill wait. by 10. <laughs> That's an increase. <laughs> right? I, I'm not, I haven't done math in a while. But I... Right? So then Jack was like, uh, no, that's, that's not going to fly. Um, and so then she got a manager and the manager came by and said, no, it looks like she did it right, and walked away. <laughs> like, zero investigation, zero conversation, just, no, it looks right, and walked away. That's a really <laughs> weird insight into the world. That's, I'm not sure how to handle that, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> so then Jack was like, that's not okay, get a different manager. And uh, Wendy was like, okay, so she like calls up a manager on her little like next to cash register phone. And um, while we're waiting on the other manager, she's like, so what are you guys doing? Like, very, very country. What are you guys doing today? And Jack explained a little bit that it was for his computer shop. And she was like, oh, my son's real smart. He's got a laptop. Whoa. <laughs> Man, I've got a laptop. Is Ownership that... of a laptop makes you smart. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the funny thing about that is, like, I feel like a lot of people do, like, get judged by, you know, do they possess a Mac and are at a coffee shop? Well, they must That's be some kind of, like, you know, hipster writer or hipster writer or yeah. something. Like, <laughs> it's, oh, man. All right. Well, you well, get this run, and then when you die, we're going to end the episode. We've uh, gone over 15. Right, I'm going to okay. win it right now. Oh, that'd be awesome. I, I'd be all for it. You winning uh, this means I don't have to deal with this anymore. I feel like... I always give, like, really subtle hints for where to jump. Yeah. Well, not that one. <laughs> no, it's, it's right above it. Uh, so, like, can the you, backdrop. Can you just, like, find a way to get behind that thing again and then just hide behind it for the rest of the level? Oh, that would be super cool. <laughs> Did I do that at one point? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, but all right, that's it. So thank you guys for watching Instant Replay Live. Come back for the next episode when we will hopefully beat this, maybe, possibly. Yeah, I'll think about it. Possibly. <laughs> can I get more high pitch? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> there's a Pokemon right now. <laughs> <laughs> really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.